With its success, could this be translated into perhaps military applications? Well, that is a question being investigated right now. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. Today is a very special day because I have a tripod now and if you guys saw the way that I was shooting these videos before you would laugh at me because I had a cardboard box stacked high enough that the camera could kind of be leveled from up on top of it but now we have a tripod so we're getting real official here great success so we already know that starlink has proved to be crucial in changing the lives for communities across our country even before the pandemic we realized that we had an issue in our area of connectivity to our students homes you know with the pandemic and education we just didn't have time we needed something that could serve our students and serve them now and Starlink is that solution. Starlink is giving children access to online learning, which of course during the pandemic is absolutely essential to have. For some communities, it's actually thrusting them into the 21st century. We had some homes who've never had internet, you know, so um, just the idea of, you know, some of them signed up for email the very first time just to get this. If you look at my interview with the Ho tribe, we talked about how some tribal members barely had any access to internet. So these are already some really incredible real world examples of how Starlink is just changing things radically. With these communities that I have surveyed, they are absolutely loving the better than nothing beta. With its success, could this be translated into perhaps military applications? Well, that is a question being investigated right now. A new report says that the United States Air Force is considering using Starlink's internet for potential military applications. Ball Aerospace, which builds conformal antennas for tactical aircraft used by the Air Force, is working with SpaceX to find out if this connectivity could have military applications. So in this request to the FCC, SpaceX is seeking to make modifications to its experimental authorization for additional testing activities to be undertaken with the federal government. The FCC document said that tests were designed to demonstrate the ability to transmit and receive information from two stationary ground sites and an airborne aircraft with limited testing from a moving vehicle on the ground. So Ball Aerospace will provide the antennas needed for connecting to Starlink satellites on military aircraft. Starlink testing is funded by the Air Force Research Laboratory's defense experimentation using commercial space internet program. Wow, that's a mouthful. So Ball Aerospace received a $9.7 million contract last August. So the Air Force will begin its experimenting with a ground test near a Starlink facility in Redmond, Washington. After that test is complete, the Air Force will then begin to test the ground to air scenario and that will take place at Edwards Air Force Base in California. The terminal will be integrated into a single aircraft with SpaceX designing a custom installation kit. And SpaceX anticipates that all of this testing will take about four to six months to complete. But I thought I should give you a heads up and keep you up to date on this. And of course, I will be following this story for you. If you've been enjoying my videos or if you're new to the channel and like to get updates about Starlink, please click like, hit subscribe, and if you're really feeling frisky, you can hit that bell button so that you don't miss any of my new videos. I'm constantly working on content for you guys, my viewers. I really appreciate your support. And until then, I'll see you soon.